idea what time it is now. Oh, I think I've just got about another six minutes before before um, I need to get going. So I went away to get some clean water there because while well, I want to lift some of the yellow out, I want to lift it out with clean, clean water. And maybe even as I lift out, inject at the same time a touch of this kind of pearl orange colour. There's, there's room for that to happen in places, like here maybe. Little touches of that bright pearl orange. Anyway, let's see if I can lift that here to make it read as that beautiful, vibrant yellow I'm seeing. I don't know. I mean, it's the brightest petal in the whole sunflower is this one. It's one of those neon that's needed in places. I think I do have a neon yellow ink somewhere. So if I feel unsatisfied at the end, I might resort to that. I'm almost, I feel like I'm almost done at the conclusion of this for now. some greens that I've missed entirely at the back there. Some more flashes of that kind of light green tendril thing there and then back here. And they are really so very light in colour. And I, But I know they're green so I feel like it's no harm to paint them green if later like with the yellow I decide to lift out that's that's another thing but for now what I'm noticing about them is their greenness and the absence of greenness in that spot up until there and then there's another little tendril here There are times when we say, you know, painting the life out of something. And then there's times when you feel like you're in a kind of a moving meditation with each mark. And thankfully I feel the second one is the case in this painting, whether the outcome shows it or not. It feels to me like this has been a satisfying endeavour for me. There's a piece of green there in the background that I missed. And I suppose it is a self, I was going to say self-indulgent thing, but there's, there's some sort of, like um, I was talking about Rick Rubin earlier, there's a generosity in the amount of attention and time and focus that's, that's given. So if I feel like I'm chasing something for my own satisfaction, I kind of feel there's a justification there because the thing I'm chasing is something that I regard as beautiful. Yeah. Or the vigilance is about is around that. It's not it's not to do with chasing, I suppose. Although there is a sense of urgency, maybe there's a sense of like depth of focus that's like really absorbing.
Oh, these tendrils have got kind of rusty coloured ends to them. Maybe even a crimson colour, some of them. I think there's a hint of crimson in the end of that one. And this one too, maybe. No, I think my time must almost be up. A minute and a half, I think. Kind of a vein running through that one. Okay, so that's what happened. That's what happened today, and I haven't fully looked at it yet myself, to be honest. But that's what I was looking at as I was painting. And I'm grateful for your attention and your presence with me. And um, I'm grateful for this opportunity to sit here quietly for a couple of hours and paint. It's a lovely privilege. Especially when the stimulus is that gorgeous sunflower over there. I've just broken this iPad holder. Oh no, it's cracked off. So it's my hand holding it now. Okay, see you next time. This will be my fourth iPad holder. I think I need to find a new design. Bye. I'll leave you with the sunflower. <laughs>